Hi, here we have an oldie. Show the box. This one goes back a very few years. Another picture of the box. A cardboard box. Well made actually the box. Modern lamp. DC or guarantee. The magnet sign which was a trademark of the company for many years. Gas fraud patented. 40 watt coil coil lamps giving 20% more light than ordinary Osram gas fraud lamps. Paint numbers and uh, the Electric Company of England. One end of the box, the voltage, 40 watts. Another end, it's about the 20% more light. Anyhow, let me show you the actual lamp itself. This is certainly an, uh, an old style lamp, and the way the filament is arranged. This used to be the way filaments showed themselves. They were at the same level as that little glass stud. The support wires came out horizontal. They didn't stick upwards like the American lamps. They were, they were exactly like this. Um, this, is, this is obviously coil coil with three supports. A well made lamp by the way. But it's the same, looking at the film, it's the same height as the, the stud. Showing further down, there's the fused part, which is in this case the wire is made thinner. I think it's showing up just. Now let's have a look at the edge, which is in quite a good nick. Uh, get it so you can see it better. Let's hold it down there. There it goes, let's have a look. Cool, cool. You've got a code there as well, which we'll have a closer look at. It's got the voltage made in England, GEC, patent. Cool, cool. Now we look very careful at the code number. It's made up when this thing focuses properly. You've got that little figure. It looks like a. I don't know what it does look. What it does look like. But there's a, there is a symbol there, looks like one with a reversed R, 85, or is that 65, no 65, well, it's a squiggle, 65, whether that is any help to sorting out the age, I would think myself it's Possibly nine, late 1930s or 40s by going by the box as well. He's older than me, definitely. And once again, it's never been used. One in the collection. Give it the hand treatment so you get an idea of the size. In those days lamps were larger than they are now. They look better made as well. 
Anyhow, let's have a little look at it alight. I won't light it up to the full extent. Variac is, is down. Light off. Wind it up slowly. Never know what the state of the filament is, whether air's got in. In this case, air hasn't got in. Winding it up gently. There's a hundred volts going through that. Hundred and fifty volts, and that's what I'm going to leave it at. It would take the full voltage, but it's going to take hundred fifty volts. There's what it looks like on the side. Whether the reason for altering the position of the filament with regards to that little stud, because if you looked at it, it could cause a shadow, because the sh the stud was exactly the same height as the filament. That may have been why they altered it. I don't know, but I know in America the support wires have always been above that stud and that was the first thing I noticed as a kid when I went to America. I know we were waiting in a blooming great queue at New York. We'd got off the boat and um, we were waiting in a, a very very long queue and um, I was bored to, my, you know, bored really badly and I happened to glance up and I noticed that the lamps, they were, they were tungsten lamps, but the filament was was spaced away from the little glass stud. So whether that is the reason, I don't know. Anyway, any questions about this, uh, ask and hopefully I can give an answer. If I can't, my mate will probably be able to answer you. Um, or anyone else that happens to be looking at this. So once again, thanks for watching. And we'll sort out another bulb to put up. Thanks again. Thank you.